interview some comedian women friends, uh -huh. and I have a lot of them. Uh -huh. And some of them, they say they would, they would, they would not get on stage if they don't have heels on. Are you like that? No. Okay. I'm not like that. Because but do you know some women like that? Mm, no. I mean, I know women that if they have on sneakers on stage, they feel. They're like, oh, I know, I look like a bum. And it's like, girl, you look comfortable. Right. Tell these damn jokes. Right. Um, but I don't, my biggest fear is that I'm a, is that I'm a fall in public. That's really? it. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm well, not afraid a of, though. right, but I'm not afraid of public speaking. I'm not afraid of like talking to strangers. I'm afraid that I'm going to fall in front of people who don't know me. That's what I'm afraid of. So wearing heels on stage is too scary for me. Really? So bombing and falling on stage, which one's worse? Falling on stage! I've wow. bombed before. <laughs> I've never fallen on stage. But you're a comedian. Falling on stage should be part of the nah, job description. Yeah, but you know what it is? I, recently, like the older that I get, the more afraid of falling I am. Like a like a tigon. Like I'm afraid that if I if I run too fast, right, 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 right. I'm gonna fall what? and like snap. You, you know what's funny though? When like when's the last time you you remember taking a nice fall? Oh, I fall. I have a big fall every couple of months. So if I don't like if I fall, the last time I fell, I was running for the train. It was raining. I glick, 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 slid, like glissed down the stairs. Damn. And then jumped. And still managed to get on the train. It was the wrong train. Anyway, so. Mm. That happened, and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I know I'm good. I'm not going to fall for the next couple of months. Right. But that was... But that's when you feel it? alive, though, right? Because when you fall and you bust your ass, like, it reminds you that you're human. You I know, know I'm human. That you're on this planet. But like, I, gravity exists. You know what also reminds you of that? When you fly in a plane and you look out the window and you're like, wow, I mean, look at God. No. That also reminds right, you that right, you're, right. you're human. I don't need to fall right, no. in front of a bunch of people who might potentially all have their phones out. Right, but it doesn't matter. Like, the fuck out of it. We're in the day and age now, like, you know, being the victim is good. You know, if you fall, people will have sympathy for you. And who knows, you might get no, some No, you know what it is? You know why it's so scary for me? Because I like watching people fall and I laugh when they do it. Right. So I'm afraid that it's going to happen to me and someone's going to be like, <laughs> look at that little boy. <laughs> 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 you joke about that all the time. After you cut your hair, I see like you have a lot of more. Yo, I was on a plane yesterday flying back from Miami and the stewardess was like, sir, would you like some snacks? <laughs> I was like, who is she talking to? Like, cause it, this, it, it's still so new. Hey. And she said it again, even, sir, snacks for you. And I was like, yo. And my friends were sitting next to me. And my homegirl was like, um, it's a girl. And I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. But, yeah. Did yeah. your parents teach you Creole? Yeah. Uh, English is the last language that I learned. English? I learned uh, Creole, I learned French, and then I learned English. Hmm. So in my house, we speak all three languages at the same time. Right. So when I went to school, I was like, oh, that's how everybody speaks. Right. And they were like, oh, no, she dumb. Yeah. She real, because I spoke to my teachers like that. Hmm. French, English, clay are all at the same time. Like, the, word, the tense all makes the sense. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, well, right. Right. Like, what, what did you say? She jouied me. Yeah. Right. I glissed down the stairs. Like, wow. Anyway, so I speak like that, and I was talking like that in school when I started, and they put me in ESL for like six years. No, you grew up, did you grow up around the time where it was bad to be Haitian? When was it bad to be, 30, the 90s? Right. I mean, I don't know. Was it bad to be a Haitian in the 90s? I don't know. I mean, in I the 2000s too. I mean, some people tell me in the 2000s, but you know, I wasn't, by that time 2000s came around, I was in college, so I don't know. I mean, I, I also don't really know. I, yeah, it was all good. When was it a good time to be a Haitian? All the times? Well, I mean, apparently in America, you know, in the 80s and 90s, you know, people were going through some shit. Ah, yes. And yeah, I was here for the 90s. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. But I didn't know that it was bad to be Haitian. Oh, so Everything in my house was so Haitian. So like, what about when you went to school, as I, you never had kids tease on you? You know what it is? When I was little, I didn't even know that I was different. I thought that we, like... I thought we all went home and did stuff that people on TV didn't do. Does that make sense? Like, I knew I didn't have a TV family. Does that make sense? Like, I, I wasn't like a, a Fresh Prince type right. full house family. Right. But I thought everybody went home and did, ate different food and did different stuff. You know what I mean? 
That's mm -hmm. really when I realized that I was different is all the food that I would bring for field trips was different than everybody else's. <laughs> and I was like, you got a sandwich? I got my moulin. Like, it was like, <laughs> oh, okay, well, I got blizzards to anybody. Want. Like, that's, yeah. that's when I was like, oh, I'm not like them. So did, did they didn't tease you for that? Ah, look at my, my moulin. <laughs> like, your shit didn't stink up the bus? No, because I was, I was also kind of a bully and a clown. So, like, I'm making fun of everybody, so nobody was really making fun of me. So that was, yeah. So that's how you got away with it. Yeah. Huh. And I'd be in school with my, you know, my, my ruban. Yeah, because barret. The barret, the, the, the piss. School like that, yeah? yeah. <laughs> wow. Elementary school, like all that, yeah. And nobody in a dress. <laughs> like. The white dress like you come from communion. No, no, no. It'd be like, them, you know, we were allowed to do colors, you know, different colored dresses, you know. Maybe a brown dress, maybe a pink dress. Well, you <laughs> maybe a, 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 a move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a move my one moment, you know. Damn, that's how they send you to school. Yeah. Oh. And man. I wasn't. We weren't allowed to wear sneakers unless we had gym. It really? Oh, at the school? At the school. My parent, my mom, because my mother thinks tennis make your feet big. So she's like, look at these Americans with their big ass feet because they don't wear <laughs> shoes. So my mother <laughs> only bought us one pair of sneakers. And we wore that only when we had gym. Uh, <laughs> so you all had the little church shoes? We all had like, you know, some little tassel loafers, you right. know, some Mary Jane. Right, right, right. right. Some, some Payless <laughs> shoe sewers. I hated them shoes, man. Yo, that's why, dog, no, when I came to America, I made it, I made it a point not to ever wear these. The only time I wear these is when I'm going to a funeral. <laughs> if that's Adidas? It. You wear Adidas? No, 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 Paolo, like those, those, oh, those sneakers. shoes. Oh. No, I'm a tiba, you know, so, you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like those shits, man. Those shits give me nightmares. Yeah. If you they contact me, like, you know, I went to an all boys school. Mm -hmm. All the niggas are coming with the, the, new, the, the ladies. No! The fila, unless I feel was a lot yeah. more, you know, Adidas, Nike. Yo, two neck, and then you were here coming with your fucking church shoe with the bag, like this, <laughs> man. Just tick, 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 clap, 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 clap. Yeah, you, you tap this shit. They're shoe. like, look, look at, look, look, look yeah, at the yeah, shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the shoes. They won't have an issue. Like it, it pretty much tells people that you don't have money. That's literally in Haiti. Yes, but yeah. but also Be all these people one. running around with their Adidas and their Jordans. A lot of those kids that can dress can't read. Right. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was taking AP classes, right, okay, right, right. with my one pair of Pumas. Right, right. Okay? Right. When well, you have 10, and you can't, yeah. you can't, you can't even count to 10. Right. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Yeah. Count them for me. Uh -huh.